Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Silent Hill 2 Remake. Last time we managed to find our way to Rosewater Park and found the person who we were looking for. Or did we? We found uh, someone who looked a lot like our dead wife, but was different. Different hair color, different style of clothes, different mannerisms. And her name's not Mary, it's Maria. Pretty weird. Uh, we told her that we were looking for someone in our special place, and she's like, this is it, and we're like, I guess so. And then the idea popped in her head of where our special place could actually be. Our special place being James's and Mary's. So instead of telling us, she decided to basically lead us. Uh, we went through Heaven's Night, her place of work, it looks like, as she seemed to have the key to it, uh, which ended up being a stripper bar. Uh, she, uh, we, once we went through it, we got to a place called the Moonlight Grove, which is kind of like a little garden, uh, with a statue, uh, denoting a local legend of a woman who was cast out of, uh, you know, Silent Hill to, uh, to an island and a man basically would bring her food. Uh, he would, she would light a candle for him and he would sail across the lake, bringing her food every, every day. And one night, the winds were so bad, blew the candle out, and he got lost in the lake. And he was never seen again. And the legend is that she's still waiting for him on the other side. Anyway, uh, we heard a scream, made our way to the theater, which was right next door. A movie theater. We, uh, we heard Eddie and Laura talking. Uh, once we barged in, Laura was already gone. Um, and Eddie was... Looking kind of weird. He, well, he was acting kind of weird. He was basically dunking his hand into melted ice cream and just licking his fingers off like it was KFC or something. Uh, we went outside. Maria said that she saw Laura run past her. We followed the road, and it led to the uh, local hospital, Brookhaven Hospital. And that's where we ended up. So let's get right to it. As I mentioned last time, the the hospital is one of the major landmarks um, of uh, Silent Hill 2. As it is mainly the biggest location and a lot happens. Wait, is that where we came from? Did, we, did I actually explore this place? Or... Okay, so there's a padlock here. Funny how bright it looks outside compared to how it was like 30 seconds before we entered the building. Yeah, it's like well lit. That's so crazy. Okay. What are you looking at? Oh! Well, that's not ominous or creepy or anything. This is in training. Okay. Did I look in this area before? I must have. Or I must not have. The director requested the files of the three crucial patients. You know which ones. Could you please bring them to his office? I mean, if I see him, then sure. Attention, oxygen must be turned off when not in use. Can I turn off? I can turn off the flashlight. That's good to know. Oh. Dr. Hughes and Dr. Atkinson in the garden. You could tell they're very friendly looking. The, the pool. Pharmacy and doctor's not. I've never heard of a hospital having a pool. Oh, cool.
Um, yeah, that's that's very weird, weird to me. Brookhaven Hospital, circa 1920. Okay, so it looks like there's three levels, three floors to this hospital. Remember, if you experience poor appetite or significant weight loss, insomnia or hypersomnia, loss of interest or pleasure in usual activities, feelings of worthlessness or guilt, diminished abilities or think, to think or concentrate, contact your healthcare provider immediately. Now, does it have to be all of those things or any number of them? Yeah, I know I'm making a lot of it, but Mental health care is no joke. Oh, hi. There. Laura. Wait. It's okay. We don't want to hurt you. God damn it. Why would she run from us? I don't think she likes me very much. But why? I, uh, I don't know. So we've seen pictures of uh, bunnies like this before. Now she's drawing a wolf. Interesting. Well, I mean, let's finish exploring the... the main floor. What are you looking at? Okay. So... Huh. I don't have a, a map of this area. But I have a map of this area. That's interesting. Yeah, so let's finish looking around the first floor before I move up. It's actually a satisfying clicking sound. Keep door closed. Um, didn't say anything about windows. Not sure. Better stay on your guard. I mean, I don't know why you whispered, considering you just smashed the shit out of that thing. It made noise everywhere, like this. Hello? Okay. The second were as high as the number of nurses. It'd still be one short. With two of them dead and one just a fraud. The third would chop the firewood in half. The first was singular. This looks to be a math problem. Math problem for the padlock, I take it? No, it couldn't be, because it said singular, which means a single... Shotgun shell. Do we get a shoddy? Anxiety. <laughs> you know, here's a weird thought that I always tend to kind of have. You always... <laughs> That's a nice touch. Okay. Um, yeah, weird thought uh, that I tend to have is that you always see, like, the the help, like, the, the anxiety posters and the depression posters and all that stuff in the hospital. But isn't that kind of, like, redundant at that point? Like, aren't you there to get treated anyway? It's like going to a library and seeing advertisements on reading. 
it's like I'm already I'm already at the library. Like, what else do you want from me? Why else would I be here? You know. Which yes, I have also seen. Oh yeah, I've seen that already. Ooh, a bathroom. We have 17 health drinks? God damn. We're doing pretty well. Yeah, I say that now. In like 10 minutes, I'll have drunk all of them. Oh, I don't get to see the pool. All right, guess we're heading up to the second floor. I'm coming, Laura. Anticlimactic. Okay. Um... I guess the thing that we got, the note that we got, was for this padlock here. So let's figure it out. Let's let's go on this journey together, everyone. Uh, it was in here. Okay, what does this go to? It goes to nine. Like any padlock. Uh, okay. The second were as high as the number of nurses, it'd still be one short, with two of them dead and one just a fraud. The third would chop the firewood in half. The first was singular. Okay, number of nurses. Saw that here. But these are the nurses in training. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the seven of them, and it said what? The second was high as the number of nurses, it'd still be one short. So eight. The third would chop the firewood in half. And the first was singular. Okay, so I'm, I, I guess this one's eight. Something about firewood. So did we see a fireplace anywhere? Uh, I don't know. There would be a fireplace. I don't know where else to keep firewood. Thing there. Hmm. The firewood outside, maybe? Is there anything here? No. Oh, I can't go outside. Where would there be firewood?
Even were as high as the number of nurses, it'd still be one short. Two of them dead and one just a fraud. So, okay, there's seven nurses. It'd still be one short, so that means eight. With two of them dead and one just a fraud. So does that mean you have to subtract three? The third would chop the firewood in half. The first was singular. So singular means one. The first one has to be one. So one, five. The third would chop the firewood in half. What firewood? You, um, you looking for something in these photos? Yeah, the answer. So, is it the trees? So half of that would be two. So one, five, two. Let's try it out. One, five. Oh man, I'm up. Second floor? <sighs> Basement. Oh, of course. I would say I'm a fucking genius, but I've actually been at this for a little while. It's been about just a little over 10 minutes. This place feels so empty. More than the other places we've been. How does that feel? Like, how does that make sense? You were on the pier alone. We were in Moonlight Grove alone. Wow, this is a huge basement. Hey, this one's open. Okay. Nope. It doesn't work. You just said it was open. It is really dark without a light, eh? I mean, it makes sense, but I just wanted to see how dark it would actually get. Because sometimes in games you can actually see, like, an outline of stuff. Like, I can't see shit. You could get it working. Might get the elevator running again. Okay, so I need gas. Yeah. Figures. James? I saw it. Some bugs? Let's go this way first. Jesus! How did I not see that? Where 
are you? I'm not hurt. Okay, you went back there. Why did you run out all of a sudden? You all right? No, James. I'm not. Not at all. I, I'm sorry. I know. Oh, did you scuff off your nails? That thing was well hid. I did not even see it. Okay, I gotta be... I really gotta be on my toes here. Just stay back. You don't have to follow, like, right up my ass. I got a lot of bullets, eh? I fucking see you there. More of those things. You're okay, you're okay. Well, they got the canister. Bet it's empty, though. Yeah, it's empty. Okay. I gotta be careful, because these things tend to move around, so... Even if I think I've cleared an area, I gotta make sure... Gotta make sure that uh, I clear it again. Okay, so I know I can move that. I'm going to move that up there. Gotcha. Where? Oh shit. Let me clear this area first. I think that might be the best thing. I can't get in there. Yeah, someone go here earlier. There it is. Um, excuse me. Move, Maria, move. I like how she's like, I think they're gone for now, and literally before she even finishes it, thing gets up. Come on. What the heck? Hey. All right. open for you. 
so you don't get lonely. There you go. Doesn't look like it's filled. Brookhaven Hospital, 1932. Okay. And the significance of this is... Oh, our radio is going off again. Which means one of those fucking things got up again. See you. They're coming. Uh, no. you come from? Come on, James. Are you kidding me? There we go. Can't believe I drank three health potions down here. I'm so bitter this episode, eh? So safe. Oh yeah, you can tell definitely tell the difference. I see you, and I saw that the doors open now too. Before. Okay. Let's make sure there's no mannequins. Is it over? Not yet. We're still in Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Okay. Let's try going to the first floor. See how that works. Okay. So we have been. We've been on this side? We have. Second floor it is. Do 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 Now it's dark out. And it's raining.
What's up with Maria? Hey. You okay? I'm sorry. That's fine. What's going on? Are you hurt? It's nothing. Probably just a hangover. Maybe you should rest. Yeah. Okay. As soon as I can. James? I wanted to ask you. What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? I haven't really thought about that. Back soon, okay? What is that gasping? Maybe you should lock the door. Sorry, I just need a moment. I'm all right. I'm just tired. Like, you don't want to even put it... Look at that nasty-ass bed, man. You don't even want to put, like, a cloth or something over it. Okay, well, what room is this? This is C5. Okay, he marked it with M for Maria. Good to know. Um... You know what? Let's explore down this corridor first. So take care of what matters most. Leave the rest to us. To look at palliative care center. That's disturbing. I did not mean to do that. What is that? Oh, it's a nurse looking down. I'm like, what am I looking at right now? Like, I know there's a person on a bed, but like the thing above her. It took me a while to realize what I'm looking at. Yeah, it's a nurse basically up above her. Okay. It's locked. I mean, on the plus side, at least we don't have to babysit Maria. For a little while, at least. Wait. Oh, I've reached the max amount of saves. That is interesting. All right. Let's see elevator. <laughs> you one urinal. So, okay, here's a question I want to pose to you guys. 
I think I asked this in earlier video in the earlier video, but like if you're if you got a like a letter from your supposedly dead wife and you come to like a ghost town, you know, like would you actually keep looking? Now that we're a few videos in and looking at the state of this town, never mind the fact that there's monsters. Forget about the monsters. Okay? If there was literally no one. Now. Where is that? If there was literally no one. And, you know, would you literally run around this ghost town looking for your special place? Would you really expect to find your wife? Oh, God, here we go. Oh, right in the back. Okay. So those are the infamous nurses. What is that sound? Oh, something going on over there. I'll be with you in a minute. I still don't know what those are. I'm wondering if it's just like, um, like one of the, like it's a thing where it's like, remember this moment from the original game? I wonder if it's something like that. Like, uh, I don't know, some kind of nostalgia thing. Patient interview transcript annotation. The following interview was conducted with blank in response to incident 071. I remember lying in water, empty, and then I felt him. I felt him stare. He was close, very close. I had to get out, had to get away, but he followed. He kept staring, so I made him stop. Now I'm empty again. Can we go back to the pool? Oh. Yeah, I mean, even if you didn't mark the pool, something there, um, I, I still would have been interested in seeing what a pool in a hospital would be like. I'm guessing it has to do with, like, um... I fucking knew it. I'm guessing it has to do with, like, physical therapy. Because it's much easier to move around in water than... Out of water, I guess. Oh boy. Oh, that's like an actual room in there. Okay. See you. Oh, come on, no!
tried to hit it. Yeah, it's fine. You know, I'm getting a lot of shotgun shells, but uh, an actual shotgun would be really nice too. This door, I'm guessing, is closed. Yeah. Alrighty. code has been reset to what we agreed on during yesterday's meeting in the doctor's lounge. Like I said, I don't want anyone writing it down on little pieces of paper for me to find. Be responsible, people. Okay. So there's a whole other section I haven't explored yet. Doctor's Lounge. Is that the first floor? Yeah. Okay. This looks inviting. idea what's oh I select I see yeah, yeah, yeah I select the um, what I want to go in the order and looks like we're missing a piece anyway okay it's a weird thing to hide behind a curtain Ah, I can see ghost outlines of bracelets. I'm guessing like uh, hospital tags for the three patients. All right. Patient file number one. Oh, yeah. Patient number 0130, designation 295.3. Move to L1, initial symptoms, intense and unrelenting anxiety. Current diagnosis. Symptoms have intensified into full-blown full paranoia, visual hallucinations, recommendations, increased medication. Can't be left alone. Move to L1 for closer monitoring. Okay. 
patient number two. Uh, 090, 0090, designation 298.0, room number D1, initial symptoms, sensory delusions, current diagnosis, insomnia, refuses food and water, delusions persist, recommendations, force feeding and hydration, bathing required to be carried out in the treatment room, sleep medication, constant surveillance. Let me add that one. And patient file number three, designation 301.3, patient room number C1. Initial symptoms, sudden outbursts of aggressions, visual and auditory hallucinations, current diagnosis. Current, diagnosis. Um, current therapy is considered effective, unprovoked outbursts declined, social interactions improved. So all those crossed out, what did I miss? Recommendations, continue with the current therapy. What is a calming effect, or it used to? So where's C1? Ah, uh, okay, so that key opens that door. So C1 was right here, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, so that's where we got the note and told us to go to the pool. Right, right, right. Okay. Hi. What an entrance. I'll be with you in a little bit. Oh, this just goes out. Okay. Are you gonna follow me in here? Are you really gonna follow me in here? Hi! Oh, look at the face, man. Oh. Oh, shit. These things take quite a beating, eh? Definitely tougher than the original game. Man, would you go walking around in this fucking hospital? Fuck this little kid, man. Like, 
If she never said anything about Mary, he wouldn't be this concerned. He wouldn't be this, uh, this eager. Fifty bucks says I'm gonna prick my finger. How did I know? Bent needle. <laughs> you never know when that might come in handy. Oh. Bro. 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 Look at James, he's like a fucking pro. He's like, I got this. I'm dodging. Yeah. I got her vag twitching. That's how I do. Bent needle? No? Sure. Alright, where the fuck am I? Alright. Oh, why am I not surprised? The nurse's lounge, where all the nurses are. Oh, from the back, from the back. Oh. By the way, I'm trying to save my bullets for when I'm in the other side. Because it will happen. And I can't even imagine how much more aggressive these nurses are going to be. L1. Lovely. Hey, what is this? I'm still half expecting a mannequin to be in like one of these places. Like just hiding, not setting off my my radio. Just jumps out and fucking gets me. This is actually open. Okay, that's good to know. So we'll unlock this. Where? 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 Okay, that is that side's problem. Uh, so we have an L1 key now. Badge is still twitching. Oh 
my god. There there has to be a mannequin in here somewhere. I, I could just feel it. I hear movement. I hear it. What the fuck is that? The fuck? I, I can't move it. They brought in the girl today. Poor thing hasn't said a word. She just sits there, head in her hands, sobbing and quivering. I moved her to the corner bed. She seems to have calmed her, seems to have calmed her down for a bit. She even smiled at me, I think. Okay. Is that a nurse? That's a nurse. <sighs> Fuck you, Akira, and this low rumbling music you got going on. Where? Fuck are you? James, <laughs> you're fucking crazy, bro. Son of a bitch, James. You really are.
Why won't they help me? Why do they keep me in here with them? Let me out, 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 let me out. Oh, fuck. Please keep the noise down. Oh. Well, there'll be lots of noise, I bet. Oh, it's one of the bands. Yep, I thought so. Records. So I'm on the first floor. I mean, obviously I'm on the first floor, but. How are we doing on time? We still got some time. Um. Do I have anything in my possession? I have the bracelet. I have a bent needle. I'll have to go back upstairs. Since we're here, let's maybe take a quick peek on on Maria. Hey. Any luck finding Laura? Not yet. How are you holding up? I'll be okay. Just need a bit more rest. James, thanks for checking up on me. It's very sweet of you. Yeah. Uh, get some rest. I'll be back soon. <sighs> oh, can we do anything else? Nope, just turn back around. She is ignoring us now. Yeah, I think I heard a monster here. I did. Oh, hello. Are you the one that got back up? There's two of you, isn't there? I hear two of you. Ah! 
Was that there before? Where am I? Oh. Whoa. Who? Where? In there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Sorry, I haven't really been saying much in a little while. I've just kind of been focusing. I don't know about you guys. I would have noped out of here a long fucking time ago. Yeah, I, I, I probably would have braved the streets, like the foggy streets, if I was like really adamant about finding my my supposedly dead wife. But like once I hit the apartments, I would have been like, nope, fucking. Actually, once I saw Pyramid Head, fucking nope. Okay, no, that wasn't Maria. I would have done anything to avoid pyramid head like that guy's fucking terrifying man okay where have i gone okay so i think we've cleared this area fairly well now we can go upstairs Ooh. Bunny and a bird. Okay, how big is up here? Not too big. Holy shit. That actually kind of, that sent chills up my spine. That, uh, that humming. Oh, it's Laura. Hey, are you okay? Go away. Don't be afraid. I just want to talk. Imagine her nurse just like kind of pops her head and then pops back. <clears throat> I should have guessed that the humming was Laura. It that sent chills up my spine, man. Where? Sounds like it's coming from over here.
It's over there. Oh my god, it sounds like it's all around me. Slid. I hate how sometimes they're like super easy and other times it's like I'm taking three fucking health drinks. Okay, where did I come from? I came from here. Might as well check out the rest of this area. Actually... So this is, yeah, let's check this area. Observation notes, patient number 0090. Day one, patient transferred for observation, malnourished. Shallow breathing, avoids eye contact, agitated in presence of staff, frantic at the notion of touch. Day two, patient refuses solid food, nasogastric forest feeding required, serotonin antagonists uh, administered to reduce nausea and vomiting. Day three, patient restrained for bathing and feeding, uh, prepare the treatment room accordingly, progressing malnourishment, oxygen deficiency, self-injury suspected, could not confirm. Day four, something is very wrong. So something interrupted her typing. By the way, this ambience right here, like uh, you're in a huge fucking building. Um, looks like it's been weathered to shit. There's like monsters roaming around, thunder and lightning outside. This to me is like... This is fucking perfect. This is proper horror atmosphere to me. What did you write down? I don't know what you wrote down. And what is leaking? I guess it's maybe water dripping from a crack in the roof. First floor inner ward. Okay. Dr. Andrews, we delivered the radiographs you requested. 
However, it looks like the file was incomplete, as one of the pictures was nowhere to be found. We'll send somebody as soon as we locate it. Let me know if you need anything else. Is this it? Radiograph of a pelvis. What the fuck? That was weird. Okay, so I saw that you can move these. Uh, how do you rotate? Like that. So that's like that. That's like that. Then inventory. I don't know what to do with the. Oh, you have to follow the scratches, I guess. Just leave that there for now. Come on. Oh, that's where I came in. You know, I completely forgot I had the shotgun. So I have uh, 10 shells. Okay. So we want to head downstairs. Have we checked everything up here? Yeah much as I can anyway yeah to go yeah that way did you just get back up no Okay, you're okay. Do I want to take the elevator? Sure. Uh, 
Uh, where the fuck am I again? Right. So, the key for what I have is over this way. Oh, you're over there. She was there. Okay. I mean, yeah, at least she was there. This whole time I've been on my guard about like a mannequin popping up, and sure enough, the second I let my guard down, there's a fucking mannequin. supposed to be like seven nurses oh for fuck's sake You know what? You want some? There. You happy? There. Oy vey. This case bears a disturbing similarity to a situation that took place in the facility a few years back. The patient was admitted on a court order, but with the consent of his remaining family. His condition appeared to be improving for the first few weeks. The administered medications paired with individual sessions with a psychologist and art therapy alleviated his abolition and hedonia and social withdrawal. There was no reason for concern. They didn't even know anything was wrong until the night guard reported one of his keys went missing. When they found him, it was already too late. Well, that's pretty fucked up. That looks like a picture of like Hitler or something. It's weird.
keypad combination note. Okay. So it's clearly upstairs. We'll we'll deal with that when we come to it. Where the fruit am I? Oh, I'm there. So can I knock it into whatever room that is? I guess not. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, that's closed. I don't get, like, corridors like this. Like, what's the point of this? Like, I know for game purposes, it's... There's an item there, but... Architecturally, why would you ever have something like this? It's just wasted space. You could literally make this room bigger. What is this? Day room. You can easily make this bigger. Oh, just relentless. Just goddamn fucking relentless. Nothing? Boo. Boo. We get to go outside? That is new. Another incident with 0050. He got out of the pool and made a break for the garden, cutting himself wide open in the process. Thank God I was still here. He was completely manic, screaming. Had the orderlies hold him down, barely managed to stitch him up. He's back in his room for now, sedated. Okay. I see you. I see you. And I see you. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. How am I missing him?
Legs, I saw you. Yeah, you. You're not fucking. You're not fooling me. Okay, this should be everything here. shit here. I tried switching to the gun, but every time I pressed the trigger, he would just bring out his pipe instead. It is the pool. So this must be where the bracelet is. Well, one of the bracelets. Yeah, if you think I'm going in there, you got another fucking thing coming. I think I'd stay out there. And I don't have a key. Of course I don't have a key. Why would I have a key? No. Oh. Just the beetle, I'll fucking take it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you know what? Like, how many times do I need to bring these things down?
All right, so medical tube, no. I need to combine this with the bent needle. And now I can get that, whatever that is. Oh, the pool key. Okay. Wait a minute. Why is there an ear attached to it? You know, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Oh, you just sound friendly, don't you? I'm done messing around with these nurses. How am I missing? It's in the walls deep inside. The mold remover gets rid of it for a while, but then the thing reappears in the exact same spots. We need to get in there, break it all down if we have to, and root it out. Lovely. Mold remover. And they all just ran away. Okay. Unrelenting, man. There's so many. What the fuck kind of picture is that? Let's see if I can sneak up on it. Oh, nope. Fuck. It's crazy. It's like you can't go like like two rooms without bumping into like 
three monsters. Just completely unrelenting. All right. Uh, let's sit room here. Where am I? I? Sorry, guys. I keep forgetting where I am. Okay. So I'm back here now. Looks like I missed a storage area. Doesn't matter. Alright, let's head to that pool. What was that? Oh, poster. Food aids mental health. Yes, high fiber fruits and vegetables, whole grain foods, healthy fats including omega-3. No, highly processed snack foods, highly refined grains, and red meat. <clears throat> Shame on you. Shame. Pool was where? Right, through the shower room. Okay. Oh, Lordy Lou. I don't know where it is. Fuck it. This valve is for use on grit. Okay. Oh, lovely. There's a monster there. I did not see that coming. Of course it won't get up now. Once I pick up what I need, what I came here for, that's when they'll get up. There's a bracelet, and I'm running out. I'm running out. I'm running out. Yeah, fuck them. Oh, came in through here. Okay. So we just need one more. Saved in a long time. Okay. That is going to do it for this episode. Running uh, quite long, and that's pretty much all I could take for one sitting. Uh, yeah, as I said, the hospital is um, infamous for quite a few things. Um, I'm so glad that Maria decided to sit this out because if she had been in, caught in any of this I probably would have killed her like many times by now uh, I, like by mistake obviously but Maria as you saw has a habit of running away and then she hears shots like what is that and Ren runs back and is like oh no I'm being shot at so yeah, these nurses are no joke. I I was not expecting them to be this hard and this aggressive. They're I mean they're harder obviously in the original game than the regular monsters, but they're not this hard. These they're bullet sponges. Like the the mannequins I figured were like one of the harder ones um at first. Like now they're fairly easy to dodge. But if you get caught with like two nurses in the same room, like you're fucked. 
you gotta you gotta take them down by by um shooting them good luck trying to fucking melee them down but regardless um i i may sound i may have sounded quite bitter during this episode uh i'm not bitter it's just frustrations it's i'm frustrated with myself no, I'm not really frustrated with the game. It's just my own frustrations. The only thing I really have a problem with so far with the enemies is that they seem to get back up. Like, even though, like, I pound them, like, as, like, with my foot, like, as crazy, like, as, like, five, six times. I'll wander by and then, like, you know, 20 minutes later, they'll get back up or something. It's, it's stupid. Like, why bother then? Like, why bother taking them down if they're just going to get back up again? It's I, I don't like that in games. If an enemy's down, they should stay down. Anyways, that's just me nitpicking. Um Yeah, uh exploration heavy like I like I thought it would be. Um and we're probably about halfway through the hospital segment. We still have like the other side to worry about. We still got like the bracelet and the safe. Um and uh yeah. They'll probably take like another 20 minutes, half an hour, I would think. And then we got to hit the other side. Um, yeah, probably another two videos of the hospital, I would think. Um, definitely, you're going to, if if all goes well, you're going to, we're going to see some crazy shit next episode. The, this is where it starts to get really off the rails. Not to spoil anything, really. I mean... Yeah, anyways, I'm rambling at this point. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. I'm having a blast, regardless of my frustrations. Again, that's just my own thing. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.